I think he just loves the outdoors. Will Cheddar is at home on his family's hobby farm in Stewartville. I think it's definitely like super cool just to, yeah, you're not sitting in doing video games all day. Like, yeah, like you get to be outside to be around like animals and just around just like the outdoors is super cool for me, especially because I don't know, I just love being outside. When he's not outside, you'll likely find him inside the gym. <laughs> That's where the six foot eight Stewartville senior forward is excelling on the court. If you were to sculpt a player in the lab for high school basketball, he would be the player you'd make. Doesn't take himself too seriously, can make fun of himself. Incredibly skilled, right? Obviously tall, right? Very athletic. Will's basketball journey began while his family lived overseas. We lived in China for two years, like in fourth and fifth grade, and um, he kind of started really there. And obviously when we moved back, um, I still wasn't really super into it, but my mom and dad got the court over my shoulder, and I would say that's probably where I really kind of fell in love with it. Hard work and dedication earned Will a college basketball scholarship to Michigan. What's really crazy about him is that he can like flip the switch really easy. Like, well, during warm-ups, he'll kind of be, like, messing around just a little bit. But then once it, the game starts, he's completely focused. One of the hardest workers that I've ever seen in, in any sport or even on any team, I guess, in our, in our high school career. Um, and so it's just really cool to see him now be rewarded for that. Even with all of that hard work and dedication, Will still finds time to pursue another favorite pastime on the farm. It's actually very, very convenient. Um, so the river just right behind our house, you just bring your fishing rod down, just hang it up against the barn, and you just go fishing. He'll disappear for afternoons at a time, like just gone fishing. Cheddar's passion for hoops will next be played out in Ann Arbor, but he's not forgetting about his roots. But I'm definitely, you know, grateful for everything um, that, um, like, this area has given me. <laughs>